Holland take two. As you would have seen in the last video, we didn't get on very well on attempt one. Um, have you got any more paperwork? No. I need to your custom documents. We didn't have all the correct customs documents and we got turned away. We had to bring the load all the way back. But this time, we think we've got all of the relevant documents we need to go to Holland. So, we now have an EXA document which we needed last time. EXD, which we did have last time, but that's all we had. And a T1, we've got a T1 with a barcode. That's what they're asking for in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, guys, I urge you to go check back and watch it. It's the previous video to this, where we tried to get on the boat to cross the channel without the relevant paperwork. We tried to wing it across and all sorts, but it just didn't go to plan. So I think we have the right paperwork. A massive shout out guys to Chris at Grampium Continental for sorting all this out for us. We had another agent doing it before, not very good. But Grampium Continental literally sorted it within like two hours. Let's make some tracks towards the boat. Now this time we should actually be Holland bound. We thought we were last time, but we wasn't. It's currently 10 past four in the afternoon so we are going to be running well into the night so if you haven't seen part one of this video we're currently loaded with sprayer parts to go all the way to agrifax hq in holland it's going to be a rough crossing it is windy out there <laughs> In part one, we checked out the shipping forecast. It didn't make any sense to me. All they kept saying was, very strong, very poor. <laughs> we are gonna have to find some diesel as well. We did have a full tank for our first attempt, but obviously I drove down to Dover and then drove all the way back again and haven't filled up since. So we are gonna need to get some diesel. We got half a tank at the moment. Loves it. Nodding dog is loving it also. Let's go to Europe. Have you got your passport, Nodding dog? Oh, yeah. So excited to get across the water. I think we've got it this time. I think we've got it. Why is he on the phone? Look at this truck in front. Look at the registration plate. Is he from like Dubai or something? He is definitely a long way from home. We'll get some side pipe on in a minute. I might even do it now. Woo, there she is. A little bit of European trucking, sir. Woo, don't mind if I do. The blue beacons are still taped up from the first attempt. Charles Russell's got a nice load on there. He may be on the same boat as us. All right, nice bit of roving and sheeting. Look at that view. See London over there in the distance? The passenger was definitely a follower. We've just come off the M25 now, onto the M20. Sevington's over there. That's where we had to go last time to try and get our T1 documents, but we failed. We got a red card and we had to take it back to the yard. If we end up back in there on this video, I think I'm just gonna call it quits. I don't think I'll even get in there. I think I'll just come back. This here is where you come off to go on the train, Channel Tunnel. We are back in Dover. Mum, I'm trying to get across this time. Mum, I'm trying to do content. Oh no! It's not Operation Stack, is it? No horns. 11:30 p.m. 7 a.m. Love it. We've got the police up here, look. So he just waved us through. I think they stop you there and stack you up there so Dover doesn't get gridlocked with trucks. If they just let everyone come down free for all, all that lot will be just jamming up Dover. Lots of police activity tonight. Let's try again. Which one should we go down? We'll go down this one. This is what we did last time. A lot more queued up this time it is. I've been sat here 10 minutes now. I think it's gonna be a long old night. It's now 20 to eight in the evening. I don't think we're gonna be across very soon. Why 
is it so busy this late at night? It's 8 p.m. I didn't think it'd be this busy. 21 minutes at the red light. This is long. Look at this old boy. Express service. We have a green light. Woo! Let's go. Let's go get our passport checked. Thank you. I should have said bonjour. No, merci. Oh, I don't know. Let's go get checked in. So just here is where we had to park last time because we didn't have all the correct documents. Soon be time to find out whether we have the right documents this time. Oh, oh. What is this car doing in the freight bit? Why is it so busy? I thought we'd be right this time of night. I'll tell you what we'll do while we wait. We'll get all our paperwork ready. GMR code. Here we go, it is our time to find out. Here we go. They're running well at the moment. What's that? The truck. Yeah, yeah, really well. Last one I watched was the gearbox. Oh, you watch my videos, do you? <laughs> He's a follower. He's on the phone. Why is he on the phone? <laughs> you was on the phone then? Yeah. I was like, oh no, now what? <laughs> a charge of some sort, oh. but it was a minus, so it wasn't something you had to pay. Okay. So it's a nightmare. 1965. Yeah. It's a 1940. It's a DFDS boat, but it's going about. Oh, it's a D it's a DFDS boat, is it? Yeah. But we, we share space. Oh, we share space 60 now. Sixty percent. 40%. Thank you very much, William. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Thank you. We're in! We're going on the boat! Lane 65. Massive shout out to William there at P&O. Here we go, lane 65. Yeah, it's going well. We've got our tickets. We have got our tickets, guys. We are going to Holland this time. Yes! Top deck, is that going to be an issue? Uh, really, oh, should be right. Be all right? Yeah, yeah no worries. No worries. Okay, thank you. Oh, mate, yeah. Just asking me if I, if being on the top deck will be okay. Don't see it being a problem. Might raise the back up because when I go up like that, this is quite low at the back and ground out. Let's go and do that. Let's raise this up here. Oh, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. It's amazing how many trucks they can actually get on these boats. Thank you. Do you want me at the top? He wants me down the bottom. We have to watch this because this is steep. We'll get the back end right down. Brings the front right up. Sorry. We're on. Let's go and see what it's like on this boat then. I've got my laptop in there because I need to do a bit of editing whilst we're on the boat. So it's currently Tuesday and I've got a video that needs to be edited ready to go live on Friday. There we are, the R-Series is on the boat. Look at these two. <laughs> I hope she's not too rocky out at sea. At least they're putting the chains on. If they're putting chains on everything, you know you're in for a rough ride. How do you get out of here? Oh my God, that's the back doors coming up. They're shutting up. We've got to get out of here. Exit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So deck three, green. I'll tell you what, she's a bit rocky. She is very rocky, actually. Now found a quiet corner over here, editing the failed attempt to cross the channel. 
there I am looking very concerned. And there's me heading home. Well, I better get on with it, because you guys need videos. Authorizing. Going to be needed. <gasps> We've got two. Go on. You having me on. As you would have just seen with my number plate, we've got a green light to exit, so we haven't got to go through customs or anything. We can go straight out and hit the road. Light bit of shopping before we dock. We're almost there now. Listen to all the rattly bottles. Magnetic UK. If you remember on the last video, on the failed attempt, we lost our GB sticker about five minutes from the yard. Lost your GB? I haven't. <laughs> it's gone already. Here we are in Calais. European trucking through the night tonight. What's your name? Norbert. Norbert, yeah, from Poland. From uh, Poland? Are yeah. you driving back to Poland now? Uh, or no, are you going now? Right now to the Netherlands. Oh, me too. Yeah. Make a video of you. Oh, I see you see me, yeah. Yeah, I send you for on TikTok and I try on Instagram, yeah, but yeah, I can. Nice to meet you. See you. Deck three. You may be wondering why I didn't just go in the morning, why I'm going so late. It's because I need to get back as soon as possible, so we're smashing it out. <laughs> Here we are. So it's currently UK time, quarter to midnight, but over here it's quarter to one in the morning. We've been parked here two hours almost. We've done three hours, 36 minutes driving. I can do at least another six hours driving, and I think that'll get us there. I have to have a 45 minute break as well, but that's gonna mean I'm driving through the night until like 6 a.m. Then I gotta have nine off. We have movement. We need to go and try and find a toll box as well. Apparently there's machines where you can go and you put all your details in and it gives you like a box and you put it in your window. So we need to go and try and find that as well. If not, Look at this big old ramp. That is quite aggressive. Get the old suspension down at the back. Check this out, this is proper. Let's go. French tugs. Ah, oh, that's where you have to go if you called into customs. We can go straight out this way. Drive on the right, not on the left. And that, guys, is literally us out the docks. We're in France, and it's five past midnight UK time, five past one French time. Europe, let's go! Right, let's come off here. Let's see if we can find this toll box thing. So we've got to go all the way around. Not the most ideal time to be doing this, is it? Ah, what are these things here? Ah! Ha ha ha! Satellite! Let's try this. Let's go. Zero emissions vehicle, yes. Getting on board unit. K63 BBB. No, the United Kingdom. Let's make sure no one's gonna raid my truck while I'm here. Hang on. What's he doing? I'm just scanning me logbook here. One dot has been successfully scanned. Continue. Confirm. Great, you have now registered your vehicle. Do you wish to? Yes, I do wish to print a confirmation. Thank you. Saw this someone walking over here. What's he doing? What's he doing there? Look, look at him. You know, dodgy. Where's he gone? Oh, look, I'm going to get one of these boxes. Stick it in the window, not there, not there, but there. Oh, oh wow, look at this! Yes! 
Where's that dodgy bloke gone? That was successful. I left my windows down. Dodgy people walking around. Laptop laying on here, look. I'm well, well pleased with how that went. Took me 18 minutes, look. 18 minutes it took me to do that. Imagine if there was like three or four people in front of you. Look at it. Ooh. Proper European truck. Look at me, toll box. How do we work it though? Oh, plugged her in. Oh, she's lit up. Put that in the window. Starting. In time you get a green light, I suppose that means. And then we can whoosh, off we go. Oh, it feels like such an achievement. Make sure there's no big boulders down there. We've got our toll box in, we've got a green light. No, oh, wrong side of the road, Tim, wrong side of the road. <laughs> Nearly, already. Let's go. I think we're about to enter Belgium. In 800 meters. We are in Belgium in 800 meters. Ooh, big dip in the road there. Oh yes, look, it's going up, it's going up. Yeah! Europe! So we have just under a quarter of a tank of diesel. We need to get some tonight, really. But it's got to be from a BP garage, because that's the only European card I've got. All my cars are not valid in Europe apart from the BP card. Brussels and Ghent. Crack on. Go on, driver. If you roll on, roll offs. 500 meters that is fuel now it's not a bp but we're running really low now and i'm getting worried so i'm just going to pay with my business card better to be safe than sorry trucks this way it's just starting to get towards the red i'm getting a bit nervous about it it's cost us 26 euros 94 we've done 137 kilometers in belgium all right let's go and see how we pay for this fuel 31 english we want diesel 31 you can start filling 125 euros maximum we need a bit more than that really this is my first european fuel up so i just have to put this in then put my card in do it again what good's that? We've got 64 litres. Ticket, 31. I'm gonna have to do it again. Diesel, 31. We can do another 125 euros. I think it's about half past two UK time now in the morning. Half past three over here. Thank you. We'll do one more lot. Another 125 euros. Go again. Should be over half a tank now. The ticket. Let's have a look, see what that's got us. Oh, I'm gonna go again. You know what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna have a fraud alert on my card. I've used it like four times in one place for 125 euros. That'll do. Let's check the load. Still got a UK badge on. We have got three quarters of a tank. Let's do a little bit more. Look at all these trucks down the slip road. You'd never get away with this in the UK. There's just nowhere to park. If you're parking up after four or five o'clock over here, you struggle to get parked. Come on in, drive. Currently quarter to four in the morning UK time and quarter to five in the morning over here. We are just about to cross over into the Netherlands. Got through Belgium, no problem at all. 
with it being the middle of the night. Netherlands! Yes! Woohoo! We're here! What's that gonna do now? There we go, toll fare, look, it knows. It just come out, look. 37 euros, 73. That's how much that's just cost me to drive through Belgium. And I gotta do that again on the way back, obviously. We've got a going style flap in front of us. Massive shout out to JJ at going style. I've done four hours, 17 minutes driving. We've still got an hour to go until we get there. So we're gonna pull in here, have half hour break, and then do the last hour and get there and go to bed. I've basically now set myself up for night shifts. So we have nine hours off when we get there during the day, hopefully get unloaded, and then we can drive through the night tomorrow. I mean tonight. Let's pull in here. I remember pulling in here on the way to Assen. Yeah, I do. That'll do. Right, we'll do. We'll have this for half an hour. Boom! She's starting to get daylight now. We've got another three minutes left to have on our break. We're an hour and five minutes away, which should get us there for about half past seven, quarter to eight their time. And then we need to have our nine off. I've just done my Euro vignette for my road tax over here in the Netherlands. Drive. We got spotted. I think that was Rick Viss. Hi mate, what are you doing in the Netherlands? I've actually been messaged quite a lot. People have spotted me tonight. About our half hour. Let's go hit the road. Oh no. <sighs> Truck didn't start then. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. This is the place to be if you like trucks. Tang. Here we go. Extra lang. Look at that. Why can't we have that in the UK? That is awesome. We have been trucking through the night. Literally all the way through the night. We left at 4pm our time yesterday. It's now 6.22am our time. 15 hour day, 10 hour drive. Bosh. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. Give this video a like if you're enjoying it as much as I am. I'm absolutely loving this. It's lovely out here. The roads are just absolutely amazing. Everywhere's tidy. The roads are smooth. Here we go, then. We're coming off for Steam Widget. And literally just over there somewhere. We are here with the parts they need. Overnight Express to the Netherlands. Don't just turn left here, Tim. There is a roundabout here. <laughs> Agrifac, here we go. This is on a different level to the one in March. Brand new sprayer. I think we're gonna see how these get built. Let's go and see if we can find someone. This is a massive place. I've been told to come to 17. This is 17. This place is absolutely huge. There's some other boom sections, like what we've got on here. And there's a tank, like what we've got on here. So that would suggest to me we're in the right sort of area, but there's a man there. Not even a bell. What does this mean? Right. I think we found someone. I think we're in the right place. I don't know. 
I just couldn't understand them really. Ooh. Heavy. <laughs> Ooh, it is heavy. He's gone for it. Oh. Okay, down there a little bit now. He likes it. So we've got the big bits off. Just got to get the wheels off now. <laughs> we've just come up to the toilet. Dams. Heron. Which one do I need? I don't know. I don't know which one I need to go in. Heron. Heron Foods? Gentlemen, Heron, gentlemen, this is me. One nightmare. That's for stag need. Cheat nappa? Morning, cheat nappa's <laughs> on the phone. Yeah, yes. brilliant. Tell the viewers what just happened. Well, our office manager has received a phone call from Siert Noppert. Yeah? Siert Noppert from Heerenveen. <laughs> and um, he knows I'm here. He knows Tim is here and he, he wants will, a picture. He loves, yeah, he loves to, to have a picture with Tim, of course. With, with me? But yeah, truck How does Tim. he know I'm here? We don't know. The only thing we know is he knows. The only thing he knows, <laughs> the only thing we know is that he knows, <laughs> he knows that Tim <laughs> needs to sleep.